guys, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rosie. I hope you guys are all doing okay. I am filming this the same time as my other video. So no, I'm not just wearing the same thing in the same space, looking the exact same. I'm filming this one after another. I'm so sorry about this lighting because the sun is going down. Okay, I moved my camera a little bit. So it's just this lighting and not half of both. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can see me a little bit better. But today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a plan for yourself on how to lose weight. This is really important if you are trying to lose weight because everybody's bodies are different. If you guys don't know me, I do have three different workout plans on my channel right now. Hopefully I'll be releasing more in the future because some might work for people and some might not work for others. And that is why I'm making this video. <laughs> the thing is that everybody's body is different and you might not like a workout or you might not want to target a certain thing that I want to. And that's completely okay because everybody is different. So what I'm showing you in this video is how you guys can put together your own schedule. So I don't know if it's just me, but I've always been really organized and I like to lay out exactly what I need to do so it's easier for me to follow it. That's exactly why I have plans for you guys. What I do every single time I wanna lose weight is I take a piece of paper, a jank piece of paper, <laughs> anything grab a notebook grab a post-it note anything that you can fit this on and just start writing down the goals that you want here's my piece of paper so what this piece of paper contains is the videos that i'm going to follow the schedule or schedules that i'm going to follow and meals that i want to make and then i wrote other things to remember just like certain things that like i need to tell myself and then my goals and a little message of motivation at the bottom <laughs> so pretty much the only way to figure out workouts that you want to do is to literally just look in the mirror and look at yourself don't do this all the time i'm only saying this for the purpose of figuring out what workouts you want to do but look in the mirror and be like what do i want to not have what do i want to have more of what do i want to fix say you want to lose weight off your thighs you want to lose weight off your stomach um, figure out things that you want to do. You want to lose weight off your arms, things specifically to you. Personally, what I wrote on here is I want to have no love handles, better skin, which is another thing that's going to help me work out. When you start working out, your skin's going to get better. So that's a thing to remember. I want a smaller waist and I put the exact measurements. I want 25 to 24 inches around my waist. Right now I'm like a 26, so that's only an inch or two below. And I want to size down in clothes. Those are my general goals that I want to do by looking at myself and by knowing myself. Those are the things that I want. <laughs> After I write down my goals, I'm going to look on YouTube or on Pinterest, or you could look through my videos, what workouts would apply to those things. And that's where I start the video section. You can't see this paper, so I don't know why I'm pointing to it. I pair up the goals that I have and I match them up here to the videos that I'm doing. One of my goals is no love handles. So on videos, I'm going to say, get rid of love handles video. That's what I'm doing. I want better skin and a smaller waist. So I'm going to go back up here and write the things that I'm going to do for that. So for that, I'm doing my hit schedule, my back to school schedule, and I'm doing 200 crunches every single night. Like I explained before, I'm really used to working out. So I'm doing two different plans at the same time, but those are gonna help you lose fat around your waist and target everything. So that's why I grouped those two together. I also didn't mention in my goals that I want smaller thighs. I don't know why I didn't put that there. I feel like that's just a general thing to me. Um, so I'm gonna do my thigh gap workout. So find specific workouts for that. If you wanna lose back fat, go on Google and look up or go on YouTube and look up back fat workout. I have one, but you could use any workout. So that's how you figure out the videos. <laughs> now for the schedule part. What you want to make sure to do for the schedule is give yourself at least one to two rest days more if you want more um but i recommend at least one to two make sure you make your rest day on some day that's convenient to it say you normally go out with your friends on fridays make your rest day on a friday then what you want to do is really space out whatever workouts you want to do to target everything if you want to lose weight overall you're going to need to do a full body workout you're gonna need to do workouts that target everything. You can't just do a bunch of ab workouts because you can't spot reduce one specific area. You have to do them all and you'll notice a difference in them all. So the workout schedule that I've always followed that I created myself is on Sundays, I do a full body workout. On Mondays, I do ab workouts or tummy workouts. And on Tuesdays, I do hip workouts, booty workouts. Wednesdays, go back to full body. Thursdays, I work my arms. Fridays, I do abs and back. And then Saturday is my rest day. So that's the normal schedule that I follow. What I recommend is having a lot of cardio in your full body workout, whichever one that would be. 
you can use mine. You can use mine as examples for what yours should be. You basically just want to do something that's going to make you sweat at first and then move into different sections. So make sure you're doing some jumping jacks, burpees, high knees, something like that that's cardio. And then you're going to move into an ab portion, an arm portion, a leg portion, a back portion, everything. You want to include everything in that day. And then repeat the full body workout, whatever you choose that to be. Repeat that at least twice that whole week because that's going to be the most effective workout and that's going to make you sweat the most. So the second most important thing is your meals. All I wrote on this paper, the only thing that is on this paper for meals is breakfast, make. Lunch, make. Dinner, make. No fast food. That's it. That's all you got to do. Literally come up with any single recipe, look it up. If you don't know how to cook, try, it's not that hard. So I highly recommend making food. And then like I said before, you can go on Pinterest or on Google. I would recommend Pinterest the best. Just go in and look up healthy food, look up pictures of it, look up recipes, save them. So you can look back on them and try new things or try something that looks good, but still healthy. And then the last thing that I write down is other things that I want to remember. On my paper, I have one gallon of water a day, no bad snacks, sleep, make sure you're getting a lot of sleep, <laughs> don't procrastinate, that's something that I love to do, pack lunches for school and work, and then stretch at night and in the morning. Those are my reminders, those are the things that I want to do. I can make more videos including more tips for losing weight, but anything that you can think off the top of your head or that you've heard, write those down. Anything that you know that you struggle with, write that down just to remind yourself. And at the bottom, literally of your paper, just write, just do it. Like it's not hard. It's so easy. You're so dumb. You're overthinking it. It's so easy. <laughs> just to give yourself a little bit more motivation because it is, and I know you guys can do it. I hope this clarifies everything and I hope you guys can make your own workout schedules that work for you. Um, let me know if you guys have any more questions about this, if you guys want to see any other types of videos like this. What's really helpful for other people is for you to go ahead and comment what schedule you're going to do to give examples for other people, it's like comment things that have worked for you, schedules that you like, plans that you like, just so it helps other people as well. Make sure you guys check out all my other workout plans, they will all be linked in the description. Make sure you check out my social medias. On TikTok, I post more what I eat in a day is fitness tips, things like that. And on Instagram, I'm most active. You guys can DM me if you have any questions. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.